South Terminal, Gatwick Airport, on our way to Orlando. Let's go. Just waiting for the uh, transportation to International Drive. So we've arrived, just uh, tracking a little hurricane out in the Atlantic. I don't think it's going to hit Orlando, but here at Orlando, here at the Roseanne Inn uh, at Port Orlando, just the other, you can see the I-4 uh, highway from there. I must admit, coming through customs, that's the, the quietest customs I've ever known. You know when you arrive at a destination, you usually got to wait ages to get, there was no queue, no nothing. Really nice guy helped me out. Said, oh, yeah, you're looking for the, the meet and greet for the pickup for the transportation. Sailed through. I've never ever got through customs that quick. It was literally three minutes, if that. Um, so, yeah, nice flight. Although we booked with through on the beach for, uh, and it said American Airlines, actually, it's British Airways, uh, which is very nice. Still get turbulence coming in, and turbulence is like, ah. um, But, yeah, it's, we, we are here. We are here. It's quite emotional for me because a lot's happened in the last four years when I was here. So I was here in Orlando four years ago before the world went to pot and other things. So it's, it's yeah, a little bit emotional for me to be here. But we've got some trips planned up. I do, if you've seen some of my early videos when my channel first started, I'm going back to some same places. I'm going to Kennedy Space Center on Friday and going to St. Augustine, do Wild Florida and do the, uh, the airboat ride, which would be great. But yeah, first day we're here. Um, hope you can enjoy these little videos. I know we're not out in the English countryside, but hey, we're in America. So yeah, let's see what the day uh, brings tomorrow. First one of the trip. Cheers. Well, that was really nice. I literally changed my diet only two weeks ago. Although I do intermittent fasting, I wasn't looking at my actually the nutrients going into my diet. I thought, listening to some of the experts is saying, which is still sort of semi-true, it's not so much what you eat, it's when you eat. But I changed my diet, lots of leafy greens, all that kind of stuff, um, less red meat. I'm not a vegetarian or anything like that. I thought, how the hell am I going to eat healthily in Orlando on International Drive? But they have a restaurant here and it's like a buffet. So I had like greens, I had some vegetables, I had beef some days. So they're actually really well today. So that's not too bad. I'm sure there will be a burger for McDonald's at some point, but that's only be one off. 
yeah so there you go day one arrivals in Orlando at the Roseanne Inn and uh, tomorrow's gonna be a quiet day it's gonna have a walk around show you the hotel layout I have a little wander around um, Point Orlando might go and see um, Oppenheimer we'll see but anyway it's been a nice uh, day so far and we'll see you tomorrow take care Antilles and the easternmost islands of the Caribbean, including some buoys out there. Good morning. First day proper in Orlando. Lovely, lovely. I've been watching the news and tracking Hurricane Lee, which is building up to be um, probably a um, category five hurricane in the Atlantic. So, yeah, we should watch it closely. I'm just going to head down to Warburton's or Walmart's and uh, get some stuff and go to the cinema and watch. I said I said Oppenheimer, maybe that'll be next week. I'm going to see uh, The Equalizer 3. So yeah, lovely day. Let's go. The good thing about the Roseanne Inn, by the way, it has no parking or resort fees. We still pay a deposit, which is standard in hotels, but no resort fee, which is uh, rather splendid. I think it'll be 95 degrees today, 95. It's very rare to see people walking along International Drive, because obviously everyone drives, don't they? <laughs> drive, drive. Um, but when I go to Kennedy Space Center tomorrow, I've got to meet them at the Icon Park Star Flyer which is about a 15 minute walk. Well, the way, how fast I walk is probably 10. There's Walgreens. Go in and um, get some stuff. Just on the top floor, there's Icon Park over there. I4. I've driven in Florida quite a few times, but I'm not hiring a car today or this week. So. Right, let's head on over to the Regal Cinema, which is over there. And have a bit of uh, Denzel Washington, what do you say? Got some very strong Scottish accents just now. Um, because of the flight time and everything, I woke up really early this morning. I didn't really get much sleep because my sleep patterns all gone to pot. I woke up at like half five. Yeah, everyone knows I'm not a morning person, but you know, I'll probably get a little bit tired later on. But yeah, it's all good. It's Tuesday the 7th of September today, 2023. I think the temperature here is pretty much the same temperature in England at the moment. Um, but hey, I'm missing it. But I've got it here, so it's fine. Right, let's go to uh, Point Orlando. The Wonderworks. I never quite get Point Orlando. Every time I've come here, at any time of day, when I've been here, it's always just absolutely deserted. How do they make a profit? Did it come alive at night? Well, I'll have to come out and find out. But it always seems to be totally empty. Hmm. 
this place like a comedy club was deserted when I was here last as was over there so yeah how did this make a profit there's an open mic uh, improv comedy club I might check out one evening looks quite cool when I was here four years ago in September 2019 I was checking out Quentin Tarantino's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood which I think is a bloody masterpiece um, but today we're having Denzel I think the Equalizer films are really good actually very good thrillers and Denzel, well it's Denzel Pulled pork, what's this? oh that's, a, oh yeah Ubi King of Blues Club there it looks quite interesting, a little blues club but anyway, let's go inside and let's have a Denzel Auditorium 10 for a bit of Denzel. Just gonna have a quick wee and then chill out. Oh, it's so nice cool in here. Really nice and cool. So anyway, I'll see you afterwards and let you know what I think. Yeah, that was really good. Really good. I love the Equalizer movies. I think they're all as good as each other, actually. But that was really good stuff. Very violent. But uh, yeah, it's very, very good. I think I'm gonna head to the pub at Point Orlando, the old, well, I try and class it as a British pub for the Brits. <laughs> Let's go and uh, see if we can get some food. Okay, let's talk tipping. I have no problem with tipping whatsoever. Absolutely none. But it's so confusing. 12%, 15%. Oh, I mean, sorry, we come from a culture where we, where we do tip, of course, and I have no problem with it at all. My only problem is, as um, they say in Reservoir Dogs, you know, you tip these people, but you don't tip these people. But that was well deserved. Lee served me, he was wonderful, and he deserved the tip. Um, I did, I think, quite a generous one, actually. But it's still very confusing, really confusing. Why don't you pay your staff a decent wage, then we'll decide whether we want to tip on top or not. Anyway, there you go. <laughs> so, no problem with tipping whatsoever, but it, it is confusing. Um, anyway, yeah, that was a very nice meal. I had the Cotswolds, which is like a breaded chicken in marinated, marinated cheese. Really, really nice, really, really nice. Uh, yeah, let's head on. there you go end of the day it's been good equalizer three just chilling out generally tomorrow which will be the next video is back to Kennedy Space Center for my fifth time is it fourth or fifth time I think it's the fifth time I'll have to check on that but there's always something new to see so I'm looking forward to that so if you like this little video of an introductory <laughs> entry into an international drive uh, in Orlando. Please like, subscribe, all that normal stuff, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. <laughs>